Ah. What's up, everyone? It's the Tip Man with the Resistance here in your right hand corner. If you are watching this, you are the Resistance. We got good old Grandmaster Revan and Zero. Zero! I have gotten rid of the Hermit Beard for now. I, I was actually I in a race good, with my dude. As soon as he decided to actually shave his beard, I was going to shave off my beard. And it's only been maybe five days max, and yeah. But this would take an average of two, three weeks to get that far along. Nice. <laughs> anyway, nice. Uh, we've been kind of on hiatus. Going to be making some changes to the channel and a few other elements. Trying to get back in touch with Connor. That's been a major to do, as you know. You know, plus the bathroom remodel, which is coming along nicely. You know, got a lot going on, but. We figured Memorial Day would be the day to make our return, and we'll be doing it every Saturday henceforth. Does that work for you guys? Yeah, I'm on it, man. Hey, I'm on I'm a, I'm a the I'm, I'm, I'm a fork. Ooh. All right. Most so times so. because you know, man picks late at night, and normally I'm awake at nighttime anyway. Yeah, so Saturday evenings will be our roundtable times. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into our topic. Grandmaster Revan, you've got something very interesting. Um, yeah. Um, th this has been around for a long time. I mean, it's like we all know that MP Ultra was around for a good 20 years before yeah. uh, the guy Keep behind it got, started to feel the news and uh, just our documents. There was. Uh, some leaks that uh, the CIA used terms from movies like Star Wars, Star Trek, and Wizard of Oz over the years. And uh, the main one they used was from the Wizard of Oz. They used terms like Ruby Red Slippers, uh, the snow, wet snow that uh, fell, in, like when they all fell to the ground and all of a sudden the, the, the snow woke them up and shit. That's referred to cocaine. All right, and, gentlemen. Uh, also, terms like yeah, then terms like flying monkeys. And you like there flying are all monkeys? these terms. Yeah, I came across this uh, the last two weeks on YouTube, and it was very dark and sinister and shit. And um, a lot of. Uh, Scare. I mean, the, the whole thing was used the last 20 years before. Uh, okay. But there were some documents that was saved from destruction, and it was uh, sent to media back in 73. Really? I want you to get into that in just one minute. I'm going to go jump on the phone out in the living room. All right. So I'll we'll be back. All right, right man. <laughs> All right, Grandmaster, uh, was that about it for the introduction for now? Uh, well, there was a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, it's it, it's pretty much that, um, oh, well, also, I, I did, I did, uh, shit. There was also, uh, I, I did a hey, channel. Hey, dude, why did Stephen Hawking talk in? Did you hear Stephen Hawking? Do? That was my computer, bro. <laughs> okay, bro, okay. Yeah, it, it, it's also on my, on my new computer. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Starting the exiting there. I mean, I, I 
thought I thought I fucking die here, dude. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, Grandmaster, I'm going to let uh, Batman say a couple paragraphs real quick about MK Ultra. then I'm going to spit out a few paragraphs, then everybody can uh, rebuttal after that. Is that cool? Yep, it has several palsy. <laughs> Did you hear me, Grandmaster? Yeah. All right, proceed. Okay, in a nutshell... Um the victims of MK Ultra are coming forward and putting together a class action lawsuit against various uh, intelligence agencies, your CIA, NSA, all that. That came out recently, and they're trying to cover that up, of course, but uh, your thoughts, comments on that, and that's all I have to say. And that basically was the more or less the final paragraph of what I was going to go for. Basically, MK Ultra basically means that they was basically trying to set up a way to control the human mind in a sense because they understood how reality works, which they don't want anybody else to understand how reality works well, about the consciousness grid around the planet. But they're using electronic devices. Mainly, number one on the list is every television. We're more or less in America. I know for a fact in America they still have this law because they still have the FCC 115 stickers that you used to see on a uh, in the 90s on any electronic device where this has to accept any audio well, it might interference. interfere with any signal but may not interfere with another signal that cause. That's basically... We may create a signal which may cause undesired operation. Yeah. That's basically what MK Ultra basically runs down to. The law basically is, is that anything below this frequency or above this frequency is not harmful to the human mind. But in America, anything... Uh, below this or above this is illegal to create in your electronic devices. I have one thing to say, and what, and this is the final bit of what we're all spitting out. Okay. In a nutshell, um, on top of that, it wasn't enough for them to. Um... Oh, Shay Robbie's on. Various psychoactives, um, bone nine yards. To, to enable more mind control. They couldn't just do it with signals alone. They had to use signals to with torture in combination with drugs. Now I'll just support Lucid in this bitch! What's up, Lucid? What's up, dog? How you doing? All right, we spit out our whole spill about MK Ultra, and now it's somebody else's turn. You said what? All right. Like, I missed this entire conversation because my phone was dead. Like, for some reason, my... Charger is a piece of shit. I can very quickly repeat what I have to say. Go ahead. Re repeat everything that we all just said. Okay, it wasn't enough for MK Ultra to be a um, manipulation of signals in the human mind. They had to also use drugs, sleep deprivation, torture, and all that. was kind of all in one nutshell. It was a package deal of all of those types of mind control, in addition to physical mind control, signalized mind control through frequencies, through megahertz. Yeah, um, you know, epilepsy, kind of seizure, inducing kind of stuff. And also with the LSD. It, it, it's yes. two different brands Drug, of the same Drugs thing. and the electronic. Uh, state that FCC code that we just talked about again. Uh, this device can neither cause uh, nor interfere with the existing device. Or, but if it gets a signal, it may cause undesired operation, something like that. That's the, that's basically how they did for uh, any electronic FCC 15, devices. It was 15. I FC, 15. FCC 15. I'm never, uh, I'm never 15. Medication law. Yeah, that's I about heard one of things in like five years. But yeah, I know. Long. That's about how long it's been since they stopped putting them on electronic devices, but it's still there. Every Nintendo used to have them. Yeah. Every Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, we used to have them. And that's basically what you said in a nutshell. Oh, that is. So, what? What is the purpose of even bringing this up? Like, what relevance does this hold? And well, I a recent development I just development next. There's a class action lawsuit being filed by all the victims of MK Ultra. That's why it's even like popped up. Other than that. There is no reason. Yeah. All right. Well, we know that MK Ultra, we know all about MK Ultra and all that fun shit. But why the Wizard of Oz? Because technically, the Wizard of Oz is seen by a mass group of people roughly every Thanksgiving annually. Okay. Annually. Annually. Message. 
So do what? Rock, what the vehicle for a message potential? The vehicle for a potential message annually. Okay, but wouldn't it be the same message over and over again every time you see it? Which also plays into uh, reprogramming because MK Ultra programming is the entire name of the pro the project. MK Ultra program project, something of that nature. Okay. It's a program. It's a program to create Manchurian candidates for assassination, infiltration, uh, intelligence, uh, the whole barrel of. Insanity, dark crap, man. Just insane shit. Okay, so and and, and they it's a can of worms for the slippery they slope. The program, they had the program run the stuff on from the Nazis on how to turn the mind off and on with key words, key sounds. It's kind of like if you look at the Metron Kennedy, the the original, where they would. Say like a, a signal or a playing card. They, they want you to use, remember that playing card of what it looks like, and they use all different terms from chemicals like LSD and shit, and it's to dumb down the mind of the person where everybody is um, scarred mentally, emotionally, physically. Psych some form of psychological impact. Yeah. Deep, deep, deep stuff, man. I tell you, deep, deep stuff. Yeah, man. If I'm wrong, I want to say that I've heard this somewhere, and I'm not exactly sure. Was it uh, the entire tunnel scene in uh, the first uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, basically the first attempt at MK Ultra, but it failed? Yes, that Willy Wonka the original actually uh, proved that MK Ultra exists. I can agree with this as well. So because we are we the biggest we are the dreams so of the are, are we talking about the original or are we talking about the Johnny Depp version? No, yeah, no, no we are not. We are talking about the Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp does not exist. Not continue like Batman says. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me, and you'll see. A huge list of OSHA violations. <laughs> but it, I mean, like, I mean, I watched that movie and that scene makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> but if you really think about it, if you look at that factory, everything about that factory is just a big OSHA violation. There's also, like, Conspiracies on the people themselves. In a world of most of violation. Like, uh, they're, they're saying that Willy Walker was a serial killer. And he ran this uh, chocolate factory of kids that uh, just are paying the asses and shit. And he, every time when the above come, there goes those kids. They all died. So, so basically, you're you're going along the lines of the the dark the darker version, the horror version of the story. Yeah. It's even though even though it looks like a kids movie, but it's really a horror movie. <coughs> yeah, Batman agrees that Willy Walker was a horror movie. <laughs> it was like they took a horror movie and they made it pleasant. It's like they took a horror movie and they made it pleasant. <laughs> you don't know, I think it's there. Maybe it's too wilder, right? Yeah. That's my name. We got people getting excited. Damn, we got curling his hair. Dead man's growing his hair like a motherfucker. What, you never noticed that before? Look at that. Hair is long as fuck, dude. That shit's getting long. Let's just get longer, Jim Man. Yeah, I mean, you got a piece of my hair sticking out. Like, you can see how long that shit is. That shit's annoyingly fucking long. Not yet. Oh, dude, why do you think I wear a bandana? Because that shit's annoying as fuck, brother. Uh, so, 
once it gets to the point where I can put it back, put it all back in a fucking ponytail, I'll be all right. Yeah, I can't do a ponytail because my shit looks like a man bun, and I do not want it to look like a man bun. Like, fuck that dumb shit. I'm going to get a mullet. <laughs> Probably should sit there like, I still can't imagine Chris. Like, Robin there. almost stood up and kicked Batman's ass for a minute. And Batman had a bat. Shit. <laughs> okay, so what do we want to talk about? I don't know, because most times we normally cover our subjects in 25, 30 minutes. The, 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 the unlockable arrest of Tommy Robinson. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that. You beat me to it. Like, Grandmaster beat you to the punch, Batman. Wow. Why, why don't you say your paragraphs to the um, Master of So, with this guy, like, he was, like, convicted to try sentence, like, all in, like, what, like, four or five hours or something? Like, like, it was just, like, ridiculously expedited the amount of time it took for him to go from the street to prison. Like, judge your execution that quick. Yeah. The crime of filming outside of the courthouse about something that was really going on. They gave, they gave him 13 months. They gave him 13 months yeah. for that shit. You know what? Yeah. Now they do what are you hit. saying, Tin Man? I can't hear shit. Tin Man, we cannot hear you. Yes. He was outside the courthouse. He was outside the courthouse filming the courthouse, Batman says. About something related to what was going on inside of the court. He was filming the fact that there was a uh, there gang rape. Right can you hear me now? You know, girl yeah. and, I can hear you now, Tim Man. Beautiful. I'm going to check and make sure that everything's still on in the bedroom. Well, he he had yeah. this for years because he was a member of the EDL in, in, yeah, in Britain. Yeah. And uh, he was fighting to expose the whole pedophilia, and and not just uh, not, not just uh, um, okay. the royal family, but also the Muslim uh, raping uh, gang and shit. Okay, Robbie, sound check. They're, they're both involved. Sound check is good. All right, yeah, I'm just making sure because I'm out in the living room, so. I can't hear what's going on. The in the about the freedom of media act. I mean, media is supposed to be able to film outside and talk about the topics that are being said inside without giving out any details. Was he giving out details about the uh, uh, trial in general? Like, no, he was no. just saying the fact that he wanted what, what the whole thing was about without talking about what was going on in the courtroom. He said that, hey, here's the trial, here's the charges, this is what happened. Oh. And the thing is, you know, your Fox, your NBC, all of them could get away with this, but they're targeting him in particular because of his views. Because you're not going to watch the crime that you're not about walk on. That's why. But I'm going back to Because he didn't have a cool in badge. He's not allowed to do it. Got it. He's not allowed, but they are. They are allowed as, as do as we say, not as we do. Yeah, Batman it's said. a double standard from hell. Yeah, Batman said it. Do as we say, not as we do. It is, but, but but now they're making it. They're they're making it now where you're not uh, put on the guy who's in prison. You can't report on somebody who's in prison. But here's the thing: if the mainstream news media did it, they would look the other way. If they walk with a stick in their hand, they would not even fucking pay attention to it. Rob's agreeing. There is a double standard. Exactly. How, how, how do you right. That determines how they act to each individual. Okay. Okay. You know, exactly. Because how many times did you hear about O.J. Simpson fucking uh, uh, Charles Manson and stuff like that? They're in prison, but yet all of these newscasters are talking about them in the news and everything. So it's like, how is it that that even makes any sense to them at all? Well, here, I'm going to I'm going to go over Batman. Instead, the news media is no different than any other corrupt corporation. The only difference is they have enough money and power where they start pulling the strings. 
they get away with stuff. Matter of fact, um, one thing I want to point out: as soon as um Tommy Tommy Robinson was in jail, there was an immediate meeting of blackout where half the stories that they showed in Google results are error four or four not found. Yeah. Man, I can hear everybody a lot better now. Oh, the ship is here. Hi. Any your opinion there? Thank you, good. Okay. I like the world hurt. Okay. With me in a world of ocean violence. You are very. We can watch this. Yeah, what's up with that song? Not with the damn voice things. Master, that's a work mass computer, bro. That's like that's Darth Vader on downers. <laughs> 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 that sounds like Darth Vader on Downers. <laughs> What's that stuff? They make that stuff that goes like the opposite of helium. Like instead of bringing your voice really high, it like brings it really low. Don't What is that stuff? It has a case of cyber policy. No, there's chemical. There's like a thing, and you breathe it in. And instead of instead of bringing your voice really high, it brings it like. Big, 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 big. Is that the proper medical term now? Do I want a medical word yet? Let's see if the guy gave me that tattoo. Hi, bro, Jimmy. I'm a bed. <laughs> You're a bed. You're not in bed. You are the bed. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. I I've got one for you. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but you know the new solo movie, right? Yeah, Tank. Yeah. 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 Well <laughs> apparently one of the main characters is pansexual. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's Russian dude. They're 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 trying to say he is <laughs> They're, they're trying to say he's a pansexual guy who... Oh, come on. We all know the guy loves the babe, man. The guy was swap. He loved the, the bed. Like, he loved, this guy was... Boy, he was the 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 right. Yeah, well, the apparently, part. since Disney got a hold of it, they are revealing him as oh. a pansexual who loves not only women, but men, women, animals, inanimate objects, and children. Like this fan here. What happens to Mickey, Mickey Mouse's Mickey. tail? Wait, what? It's not sanitary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what, Lando, what stick your dick in the fan. What's happened? What is he doing? Is they're fucking up the the history of Star Wars, dude? They're they're fucking it up. They're trying to well, Lando, live. Like, go fuck yourself, you goddamn super super fucking rat. Lando was a, a swamp guy who loved the ladies. Who, I mean, this guy loved that. He, this guy was a cool, swabby dude. Dr. Lucy! Oh, hold on, I want to show you guys something real quick. Uh oh. Careful, Hi, friend. Bye, Dad. About to do the call right now. Screen catcher. Nice. I'm being jumped on and attacked. And... I was gonna say, get the fucking camera off your crotch, bro. Why <laughs> <laughs> are you Barney's stealing my food? Oh my god, it's Robbie Joplin! <laughs> <laughs> The the mainstream mini is going after Elon Musk. These fuckers. Elon Musk woke up. He was he was with the establishment. At some point, he woke up. A little light bulb went off. He said, "You know what? I'm not going to destroy the country for these people." She's attacking so, me. She well, well, they're, well, they're going to do a, try a hit piece on Elon Musk. Wow. They've been doing that. The whole purpose of that. Let me let me chime in. I got one, two, three, six. Okay. That man was. 
The point was that they were putting negative press out so they can collapse the stock of the company. Therefore, once the stock is plunged artificially low, George Soros comes in and buys it pennies on the dollar and takes over the Apple industry like he did everything else down the table. Same thing he did in the European nation. Like Rob just fucking said, oh shit, he's, he might be right. I see that. Like, he done, he's done this shit like 37 times. It's like 37 and a half times the same exact scenario happened. Only this time, instead of a nation, he's doing it to a company. But yeah, same, same difference. Huh. Is this the same kind of fun called the Antifa, the protesters, all of them? Black Lives Matter, which, if they cared about black lives, they'd stop a board of black babies, wouldn't they? Yeah. If they cared about black lives, they'd, they'd uh, compensate Danny Williams for not having a father and name a Bill Clinton. Down the <laughs> Here we go. I told you Batman had a cape and bat wing and the fucking battle ring and the hooks and everything, bro. Batman got the utility belt ready in Arsenal. So oh, apparently, Trump didn't use that for the time I was looking at the first time in my I'm so gonna use that. What? I will eventually take over the internet, but not right now. Not time. It's not time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you hear all these. I, I, I know this is gonna sound racist coming from me. But you hear all these black people say, you know, especially as far as like interracial relationships go, that they're going to become the dominant race. How are they going to become the dominant race when they're aborting their children left and right? Well, exactly. But it's not their plan to do it. They the original brainwashing plan by a white person named Mark Sanger, original founder of the radical feminist, that decided, hey, let's let's abort all these black babies. You know, they're first among some 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 similar to that. <laughs> Back in the 40s, 50s, whatever. Because you gotta understand, black people used to be dirt, dirt, dirt poor, but they had one advantage they don't have today, and that was the family union. Yeah. That was really destroyed by the At one time, at one time, they had their own uh, business and dirt. They, they had their own dirt poor, they were all dirt poor and unified. And they had family values and. Um, Moral relativism. They have done everything they can to erode that, get them under control, because they are the, basically the petri dish. They are the science project of what they're planning for the rest of the human race now. Okay, we pull up that band like somebody else talk. They had a bunch of lawsuits back in the day, and they were making a lot of money back then, man. And. Uh, what are you doing? Somebody on the white, somebody on the white side kind of got a little just because they weren't making as as much money as the black people were. Uh, 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 <laughs> what a dick that that video of you know you might have seen that. Yeah, Chris Rock, right? He's like alcohol. Oh, this shit is good. It kills motherfuckers every day. He's like, some of y'all won't make it out of this show. Oh, I'm driving that Chris Rock's funny. Oh shit, a tree. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I, I know. I, I have to put a pause button on that. Anyone get you hooked to some legal shit? Oh, you press tired? Do you go to bed at night, wake up in the morning? Oh yeah, I, I do. I need that pill. Ten <laughs> 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 minutes. Five minutes later, you said, "Oh, oh, this pill caused uh, you know pain for your tiny skin. Over you, popped out of your asshole. Yeah, oh, oh call one eight hundred. My bad. And soon." <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you want me to pause him, Tin Man. I can pause him if you need me to. Oh, this is funny. This is great. I love it. This is what we need, man. I'll tell you. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, uh, I've been holding it for a very long time. Arlen, what are you doing? Come here, baby. You drawing a picture? Oh. Who's it for? Oh, right I learned that my podcast is now on Castbox. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's on. It's now on Spotify, iTunes, and now Castbox. 
Nice. Right, we'll link that. Uh, and you've been posting it to the group pages right, as well. You. I've been I've been posting uh, episode one through thirty. Okay, but have you been posting it to the Facebook pages as well? Like I made you admin. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. Okay, good. So I don't have the time to sit down and watch every day when you post because you know I'm at work. You know I can't exactly have my phone out. I also get my stupid ass fired. I'm getting fired. It's I'm sorry, uh, Why are you getting fired? I'm going to come get it from my boss. He does, he wants to try to make me quit so he doesn't have to pay me um unemployment. So it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't get fired. All the shit I do and get away with that for It's ridiculous. <laughs> I, I don't know why they like me. I cuss them out every fucking day. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a freaking dick. Arlo, what are you doing? Yes, I've been on mute for a few minutes. I'm going to be on mute for a few minutes. What? Yeah, I'm going to be on mute for a few minutes. What, what, uh, what? I think episode 30 was, did I, 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 Because there's a, there's a show called Hunting Hitler, and they're already at season three, and it's getting good. Yeah, it's on the Discovery Channel, right? Yeah, I got it. All right, I've unmuted my mic once again, and we're ready to start talking if Hitman man does not mind. I don't okay, know. um, nothing wrong with, with that type of TV, but there's an intentional proliferation of, uh, you know, Hitler and Nazi kind of stuff, because they're trying to, like, really expose that there's all this kind of evil going on now, which does not actually exist, except in the EU. <laughs> they're trying to, well, in the U.S., you know, the, you know, the, um, the, Counter revolutionary, you know, the resistance are, are all sudden Nazis and it's a far right wing element. The funny thing is, the actual descendants of the Nazis are in absolute control financially and politically of the EU. Oh, yeah, I kind of I kind of uh, looked at you the wrong way because I thought you said that we was right wing. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. that is the procession put out by the uh, <laughs> prostitutes. Yeah, the prostitutes. <laughs> I like that. They will put anything in the media for the right amount of money. That is on the level of the From any angle you want, just specify the angle ahead of time. Oh, I'm going to get up. I'm going to make this call. There's an angle. <laughs> That's all I was saying for that. I had a force gun my way out that The one Nazi who's still in action is just Sora, man. Oh, yeah. Soros is essentially the financier of the globalists. He's avoided prosecution because nobody's dared actually mess with him yet because the Republicans and Democrats have been in bed with him up to this point. Now you've got Trump in office, and it's a different story. The problem is he's got an attorney general that's like basically a wet noodle. Yeah. He's probably part of the establishment. I think he chose wrong. And the problem is, because the establishment hates him, he can't get somebody else in there to replace him and get a legitimate attorney general in there. So he's kind of screwed. But this guy behind the scenes is going to keep doing what he's doing because Trump does not have control of the FBI, CIA, and NSA yet. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't want to press the wall. Do you think that he'll fire uh, Sessions and bring in Giuliani? I would hope so. The problem is, is that there's an approval process, and he's got all those assholes that are going to do everything in their power to vote him down. Don't, don't come say, oh, you fucking a prostitute 20 years ago. Don't, come, don't dig us some bullshit why he couldn't be. But the same, the, the Stormy Daniels shit on steroids. They're going to try to do that to get anybody decent in there out of there. <laughs> They're adamantly opposed to the city and shit. Huh? They gave for a key to the city. And when I saw that, I was like, please, don't go to I'm with it. I mean, I have some issues with Giuliani, but, I mean, he's like light years ahead of half these people. I mean, there's, there's people better than him, but there's a hell of a lot more people worse. 
Oh yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with these little one or two dick pixel bullshit problems. But at the end of the day, there's like more people worse than him than better. Well, far. Like, I've been getting the one that maybe Trump's was a uh, major distraction. <laughs> That's what his purpose is. So just to be a distraction, you know, keep the masses occupied with what's he going to do next while the real politics take place behind the scenes. Well, the thing is, I mean, we've never had a president that was not an establishment before, and this guy is playing 60 chess against 60 chess players. So we really don't know what's going to happen next. Next, and Trump has already said, in far as matters of war, he's not going to say what he's going to do next, and vice versa. And I mean, you're not going to know. <laughs> that being said, there, there's something going going wrong where he, he has a historical low level of cabinet members. He has less cabinet members than any other president in history. Oh, Lucy. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Hold on a second. I gotta wash my hands real quick. Got to ask you, sorry. How we roll in this house? Ass and pities. Ass and pities. <laughs> in real life, though, not on TV. Wait, wait, wait. Not real life. Are you an offer? I don't know. You might need to be guys in real life. That's not what I'm We are eventually going to take a real shit. <laughs> <laughs> Of what levels have you attained to gain what ability? Exactly. Yeah. Where is my cheese? Can you come after show and tell me about writing beats and shit? I would not have been wearing my butt. No, you wouldn't. I would. That opening is like. Can you even have to show a revive and the whole Wu Tang idea? Oh, shit. And you might be a background button person. Oh, yeah, that would be. And Lucid can be in all this shit. Oh, you've, yeah. you've already heard Lucid's work before. We are going to have a, a legal cabal, but it, we're going to be very selective. You know Lucid's name. You know a lot. Yeah, we know his name. We know he brings it hard. Yeah, exactly. We know our that's Exactly. You know Lucid brings it hard. You don't fuck around. <laughs> the only reason I have to over that whole fucking ministry is I have not had fun. Lucid, no. Nobody fuck with me. The book is turned off. Exactly. Actually, the whole season. Exactly. But you've already seen the origin of that road. And order to turn this into a rap is very easy. You have three drums. Thank you. Are you done? Or do you need me to repeat what I said? No, you before? killed me with that. And I was like, I heard, I heard Lucid does something. What does Lucid do? You know my name, bitch. You know I bring it hard. Lucid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What the hell? What the grass saying there? That's my calling card. Bitch, jump up. Ticket be down. Yeah, bitch, I'll leave you scarred. Spit the lyrics, make you go to want to hit it, put it on the back with this regard. Yeah, that's a bad shit. All we were saying is we're going to follow this specific point. It might take five years. It might take Yeah. It's not that we're not at the level, it's the fact that we got to get two bullshit. Right. But I think they're going to have to revive the. And put it straight in my foot. What'd you put for foot? Those are me. Can you say, Ernie Carnation? No, it was laying on my floor and I didn't see it. That fucking hurt. So you don't care? What? No, my daughter is getting into a bag full of stuff and put this on the floor, and it was down like this, and I stepped on it, and it went all the way to my fucking phone. Yeah, definitely ow. I stepped on it, and I was like, ow, okay? Look at, how, look look at that, though. Like, I stepped on it, it was on the floor, and like, I stepped on it, and it, it was like, ow. Who's making fun of me? I'll stick it in their fucking eye. How about that? <laughs> Was it? Did somebody say who's the better killer? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I think it'd be a toss up between me and you, dog. Hey, I have a flathead screwdriver of an eyeglasses kit. 
I got a dull, rusty spoon. <laughs> I think this guy got me. I <laughs> use that kind of I have this thing. Oh no, this guy's gonna scoop the, out the eyeball the, and look at me. Only oh, uh, second uh, I will drink your blood. I will drink it tastes like jello. <laughs> what? I've got this thing. We did what we jello? Ooh, that's nice. I want that. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! That would probably be nice. That's a Voorhees weapon, holy hell! <coughs> Damn. Like, pussy, look at the check this shit out. Oh, he took it away. Hey, put it back. I know, he took it away. Put it back. I want to see. I want to see. This, Wait, this, and then that big one. weapon of choice. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't fuck around. That's a knife! <laughs> I wish I knew where my other one was. We can have a Who's Got a Bigger Blade contest. Hey, wait a minute. Time out. I found it. We win the next category, but who's got a bigger dick? I got you. Who's got the smallest dick? I want 20 bucks. What? What about that one, Pouchy? Oh, here goes Grandmaster's uh, Steve yeah. Hawking. You know what? I miss a guy. I miss. I'm not. 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 i am not i i i I didn't even catch that. What? That's a double That's a double negative. It's a black people stick it. It's good. That is immortal. It is immortal. That's the kind of people you bitch. It's good. Isn't Harry inherently born Chinese martial arts cannot defeat the African ingenuity? Yeah, that's what I said. 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 What's up? Hard dicks and airplanes. Okay, Grandmaster, I did not hear you. Hardy said hard dicks and airplanes. I, 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 I can't, I can't right. hear Grandmaster at all. I can't hear anybody. There's an audio problem. Yeah, there's you talk. No, you lost, you lost audio, Grandmaster. Like redo from start. Like close and reopen. And ask your start question. Start level one one. Yeah. Try again. Get the first mushroom. Mr. Giggles! I have one for you! <laughs> Blackie looks <or> Becky! <laughs> no, we already said that. Yeah, it was Lucid's idea. My foot hurts. I feel better. Why is that? Oh, say. Okay, so Grandmaster's Mandela effect is what? I don't know. My Mandela is a Mandela effect. Everyone always makes a ton of noise when I'm actually playing. My Mandela effect, how? My butt hurts. That's a Mandela. I, uh, I've been looking at it. My nose hurt. Oh, Let me no, guess. Which way does he face? Well, I have an important announcement or a question. Okay, what? what do you got? Okay, um, did Mr. Gills ever end up getting with Rainbow Snatch? Yes, multiple times. <laughs> he said yes, multiple times. Kind of scared me away, though. He's seen the rainbow. They say it smells like chicken keep on licking, but that bitch smelled like trap, so I got the fuck out. <laughs> that is a reason why I was doing it. Are you? Are you reading the book? Okay. Okay, so Grandmaster, is it the third face? Which one? He kills flowers when she walks by. You know there's something. 
Washington yeah. is yeah. supposedly Washington. facing Delaware. Why did the animals run away from it? <laughs> well, animals run away from negative weather patterns, yes. Washington is supposed to be facing outwards. Washington is not supposed to be facing inwards. Well, Washington it's is facing outwards. It's an outwards route. Sorry about Washington's face on Russia. Well, Washington is Washington. Aren't all their faces facing one direction except for Abraham Lincoln on the penny is facing the other direction because they were all mad at him because he freed the slaves? No, that's after Mount Rushmore was already caught. Oh, I thought you were talking about money. Never mind. No, we're like not at that. Kind of Just kidding. We're trying to hide the score. We're too busy counting money looking at Houston. You gotta get to that curve. No, if you put a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny all like face up in a row, all the ones that aren't pennies are looking away, like in the opposite direction. They won't look at. Lincoln, because he freed the slaves. You want to keep the black man down, I'm kidding. If it's a penny, next to a penny. Or if you look at it the other way, they're all looking at each other. <laughs> the glass is neither half full nor half empty, so knock the glass off the table and ask the person why the fuck did they ask you that question. But they're best men, they still want to kill themselves. Don't put me on the damn internet, man. This is why I had to be off the internet. That, that's why everybody had to take a drink. The will not be equilateral. The triangles, the right triangles, the side side triangles will flip around and shit. Oh, you fine. I flip. A squared plus B squared will equal negative. Well, I'm not on the internet because I'm It is very distorted, but sounds interesting. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a dumbass fucking movie. Oh, I mean, I don't like Indiana Jones, but I don't know what you're saying. Hey, Arlen. Hey, Arlen. Yes, that's my butt. Thank you. Put what in your butt? The yeah, that's my field butt. Don't touch my butt. I'll touch your butt. But, but, there's no smirk in Washington's face. He's a good baby. <laughs> Arlen, stop covering my head with a blanket. And then you belch. That was cute. It's really cute, kid. Would you stop, Arliss? This is probably the topic that we can do. I mentioned it what? a couple weeks ago. What? Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> I think she's trying to kill me. Help. Oh my god. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! That was my rib. Ow! 
Ow, you evil baby. <laughs> There's an opposite voice. Don't don't piss me off. Crazy. You know how fast you're going. You know the speed limit is. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, damn it! She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Do you hear evil in her lap? Just walk. Do you need my assistance? No harm. Ow! Hey, you know uh, she's strangling me. Oh, goddamn leader of cola. <laughs> ah, she's strangling me. Yeah, I'm I don't want a large one, bro. I'm a goddamn leader of cola. He said that in that case. Like, I don't want a large one. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, stop it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Bless it! Ow! What? Oh my God! She's trying to kill me. Why is your child torturing? Oh my god, let go of my ball! I'm smoother, baby. You say let go of my balls? No! You evil baby! <laughs> ah! Oh, I heard it was ow, let go of my balls! You guys are gonna witness my murder on like live video. Ow! Jump on my rib one more time, I'll throw you to the floor, and you're gonna be the one laughing. Look! Look at this. So what are we now, Tin Man? Ow! I'm just I'm just here eating tacos. Oh my god. Ow! 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 Oh my god, you are such a horrible person. Ow! Stop it. She's a horrible person. Oh my god. Can you put a two year old in a straight jacket for terrorism? Ow! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. If you can try a 17 year old as an adult, like, and yes, someone well, might have to send help. Like, this is out of control. Did you come up with a topic, Tin Man, and we can barely understand what you're saying? We heard, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. That means you don't have to be. Ow, 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 ow. Like, why do you even hear who needs to call the answer? I'm going to die. I'm going to die down here. What's going on, Grandmaster? It looks like you potentially have something. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, I just saw the headline. I don't have the whole article in front of me because I'm on my phone. But oh, I'm being apparently in Memorial Day, somebody went to a military cemetery and tagged all the veterans' headstones. What the uh, fuck? Let me tell you what happened there. All right, this is basically repeated uh, desperate tactic. Basically, they cannot. They cannot um, validate the whole Nazi conspiracy bullshit. Things are like conspiracy bullshit. So what they do is they get they got guys that go around and they put spots with them and come to find out half the time these guys are Jews or they're like or like the, the so-called anti-Semitic guys are Jews or like the anti-black people are black guys. I mean, whoever's hired to do this job is a job. At the end of the day, it's a job they get paid for under the table. Yeah. And all this, I mean, it, 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 the mainstream news media blows it out of abortion worse than an abortion. Yeah, like, pretty much. Well, I put a picture of that, uh, like, oh, just on a headstones. 
<laughs> this is not the first time this has happened. This is not. This happened the first. No, this is like the 837 times this happened. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not a new thing. You wouldn't know she was throwing up earlier, would you? Jesus. Jesus. Why are you spanking me? Why is she not What are you doing? They had to create. They had to keep this uh, parallel illusion. Alive that there are these Nazis, these boogeymen. There has to be a boogeyman because your your attention has to be attracted over here. This is a classic. Look over here. We're not doing anything. Look over here. It's almost like Saddam Hussein on South Park. It's like, it's like, hey, um, you got a bunch of bombs. No, I like. That's what this is. It's basically. Okay, the Nazis are still out there. We gotta fight them. We gotta rally the, the, the fake troops for a fake war against real people. But but it's all non-existent. But they will out proportionally report it. This has happened like twelve to thirteen million times already. The anti-black stuff was a black guy. The anti-Semitic guy was a Jewish guy. I mean, it's like it's a fun far fetch. I don't know. They are going to know. I don't know until it gets blown up. Because that is like two percent, one percent of things are going to get blown up. So they will know it. There never is, there never is a retraction. If there is a retraction to the news story, it's on page 38 of the New York Times. Or it, on the CNN, it is for half of a third of a second in between the months. So they can say they can Patrick's doing a real tattoo right now. That he is. Look at that. She's stabbing me in the arm, saying tattoo. Oh, I think you're pretty good, Beth. Yeah. Can you say hi? I that actually doesn't hurt that bad. So please don't do it any harder. That's mean. I don't know. <laughs> beating the shit out of me today. And the moral of today's story. Good time. No, she was throwing up, so she pretty much slept all day, so now she's got a ton of energy. Her brother's great. Somebody as beautiful is your friend. Oh, no. Okay, let's make the world go round. Yeah. I see the ice. Ask Can you draw on mommy? You want more? I'll take the tour. Wow. Okay, draw on mommy's arm. Oh, you need your arm. Draw on mommy's arm. Hey. Your sister is not drinking her orange juice. This is not. I'm drunk. How about that, too, guys? I am so confused as to who is getting the tattoo and where the fuck it's at. I see tattoo. On her leg. Oh, okay. This angle, I couldn't tell. I was like, what am I looking at? At an egg. Ow! And you were looking at a person writhing in pain. Well, yeah, I see that now, but it was the way her leg was going across the screen. I couldn't, like, you couldn't see anything. Yeah, now you I can couldn't see. tell what I was looking at. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Like so the angle 
What do you well, want to eat? I think it's about time to put the turkey in the oven there, Tin Man, if everybody's good, because we've covered about five topics like we normally do. Is there anything else we need to do? Robin had, had an idea, so let's, let's go ahead and go with that, and then we'll call it night. Yeah, let's see Grandmaster. Wait, what? And every time Grandmaster wants to talk, I can't fucking hear him. No, I mean, like, no audio is the problem. Okay, we still have no audio. Uh, yeah, Grandmaster, you have no audio, brother. Disconnect and reconnect. Okay, more. He probably said the yeah. most re He's probably said the most relevant thing like yeah. five fucking times, and he needs to detach and reattach again because we cannot hear him speak. But apparently, in this particular matrix, we cannot hear what he's saying. That's yeah, why he's called Grandmaster. Right. Every time it's time for him to actually say something, something fucks up where he has to say it twelve thousand times. Yeah, well, he's oh. he's got no audio in the bedroom here, so I'm back. All right, yes, cool. you are back. You we can actually hear you now. Yes. Yeah. There's a uh, a topic that I did a week ago. It's it's the. Uh, Hidden messages, hidden messages in music and shit. No, Arliss. Subliminal me messages. Okay. Subliminal messages and hidden messages. Okay, um. Anyone, do we have audio? Is audio good? Yeah. Can you hear what I'm saying? Go, Batman. No. Okay, the, the future for the current state of music was actually decided back in 1997. I'm going to reference a particular uh, album, a particular group. Um, at the time, uh, the establishment Puff Daddy was running uh, against non-establishment Wu-Tang. And now what happened was they actually had the best, most original album where every song was actually an original song. And everything they dealt with was about anti-NWO topics. Well, establishment NWO, Puff Daddy, which is all remixes <laughs> Songs, very handily and easily won out the Grammy Awards, but they weren't willing to take a line down. One old dirty bastard from the Wu-Tang Clan got up in the middle of somebody, completely else, not even a rap person, got up in, their, in the middle of her speech and said Wu-Tang's for the children and all that. But the funny thing was, we all forgot, we forgot about that in 1997. In 2004, he was dead by the government. Because he was yeah. playing. Oh, you're gonna kill me, quick. And a, a little skinny guy just magically materialized out of nowhere with the cup saying, Here, oh my God. <laughs> and he was on TV again because he was assassinated by the government. But that was back when they did not have an internet to double check what had happened. But now, 10, you know, why, I guess you could say 14 years after the fact, is now becoming relevant. And people are researching and realizing what's going on. If you watch his last videos before he died, he said, I'm not even on drugs anymore to government that. That's all I have to say about that. The goal was to get rid of the non-mainstream music to make sure the mainstream music had a chokehold on the industry, and I will yield the floor to the next speaker. Who's he yelling? Makes sense. Well, here's the reason why, like, okay, for instance, I have a strong theory that Puff Daddy was involved in the deaths of uh, uh, Biggie Smalls and Tupac. He's also uh, had the cops involved as well, because if you remember right, both Biggie and Tupac spoke on the Illuminati in their music as yeah. something that was evil. Can I say one thing real quick? Not just trying to steal your thunder, but both of them, right before they died, released albums saying they knew they were going to die. Both of them. Exactly. Like hands down, you can't debate that fact. Hands down. And I'll I'm not going to speak. I wanted to direct your yeah. ball. Here's Bell, yeah. Two bucks. Okay. Uh, directly from the word Machiavelli, yeah. which is the original, which is the way the French people speak. From ancient 1500s yeah. English. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. All right. Oh, took one syllable from Machiavelli to Machiavelli, but that's what it is. Yeah. Right. Now, when you had uh, in '97 Wu Tang Forever talking U.S. Food and Drug Administration testing poison in prison populations, you don't think the government heard that? Oh, they heard it. Right. Because you had guys that, without commercial support, 
sold 800 million albums in the first week. Well, 800,000, uh, uh, not 800 million, 800,000 in the first week. By word of mouth, not by commercial support. <coughs> the government had to put them down one way or the other. They couldn't figure out how to do it until 2004. But they did do it. Yep. Those so are the most everybody, silence. I recommend everybody go check out the 90, 1997 Wu-Tang Forever Devil CD. There's a lot of shit there to listen to. But that, that'll... If you, you'll see that slice of time and you realize what the government was up to. Oh, yeah. But that's not the only album of that time period that that kind of stuff was going on. Yeah, there were quite a few. But I, I think we can go ahead and call it tonight, guys. Let's go ahead and put the bird in the oven. And All right, then. call it a night. Okay. And on behalf of everybody, thank you. This is a Tin Man with Resistance. I'm Lucid! And that was Lucid. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. If you're watching this, you are the Resistance.